Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you can tell by the title of the video, day-to-day -day analysis for the price of Pepe. So what exactly is happening with Pepe? And of course, what we could be expecting as we do go further uh, into this obviously upcoming weekend ahead of us. So if we're looking at the overall markets, guys, you know, we are seeing quite a bit of red across the board. You know, you're seeing a lot of altcoins turning back into the red. So what exactly happened? That's what we're going to be discussing. But if you're specific specifically focusing on Pepe, it's not uh, being impacted as much as majority of these altcoins. It's only down about 1.3%. And again, it's really reflecting how much momentum Pepe really has on its side. Um, so that is obviously a really, really good thing to see. If we're looking at the price right now, still about four zeros in front of the price um, currently sitting at 14.06. We're down about 0.7% over the past 24 hours in USD comparative. But if you're focusing on the Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative, believe it or not you know you are seeing pepe up right now about three percent so that is really really impressive and if we're looking at the market cap you know we're pretty much at six billion dollars uh just about 80 million 60 to 70 million dollars shy to uh you know reach that six billion dollar mark and the 24 hour trading volume is currently standing at about 2.7 billion dollars so as far as just looking at these numbers you know pepe is looking amazing right now but before we go into it any further as always just a quick disclaimer for everyone anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so we're going to start off by the holder count so despite the fact that you know we have seen a little bit of a minor pullback uh for pepe you're still seeing the holder count climbing towards the upside what does this indicate this indicates more and more people are adding pepe into their portfolios and that is of course a really nice thing to see of course if you are holding pepe or if you're part of the pepe community this is something that you do want to be seeing but now let's take a look at what's happening for the entire meme coin market combined and you know this is the beauty of doing day-to-day -day analysis because we can really take a look at what's going on uh, in terms of um, you know daily um, things and obviously you know kind of indicate uh, what has changed compared to yesterday so if you're looking at uh the overall market right now you are seeing of course you know the meme coin market cap combined down about 1.6 percent and that is to be expected but we're not seeing major major pullbacks still about at 61 billion dollar uh you know market cap combined for the entire um you know meme coin space but you're looking at pepe only down about 0.1 percent and you know pepe and bonk have been running and you know we discussed this and these are the two projects that are actually holding really strong during this specific time right now as well so that is obviously a huge huge plus point and of course still you know up 40 percent right now and you do see bonk reclaiming back as a top five meme coin and you know we kind of discussed that before so you know it definitely has that momentum on its side so obviously that is a huge plus point to point out as well but so far is so good especially if you have pepe in your portfolio i'm sure your portfolio is holding really really good especially if you've been picking up pepe uh throughout the bear market um i'm sure your portfolio is looking amazing Amazing right now but let's take a look at what's happening with the price and obviously what we could be expecting as far as targets are concerned so looking at the price of Bitcoin and look at this guys exactly what I spoke about yesterday your boy crypto ZX tells you you know the most realistic outcome that is going to happen and you guys know I said if we're not able to hold around that support line where we were yesterday we could retest our previous resistance as the price was trying to break towards the upside this resistance was coming in our way and that exact same as resistance has now come in as a level of support and we did manage to uh, hold that support line so this is the reason as to why you are seeing uh, overall the market seeing a little bit of a cool off this is the major catalyst behind that so that's what's happening right now i believe you know whales have come out together you know today obviously the ethereum etfs did get approved this is a huge milestone guys you don't understand how big this really is for the space 
you know, people that have been in the space for years, right? Um, you know, this used to be a dream of a lot of people. And now the fact that we have a Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF is just mind boggling. And, you know, the space has come such a long way. But, you know, the sell the news event definitely took place. And I think that's obviously a reason as to why we have seen Bitcoin being a little bit manipulated as well. Um, you know, due to whales coming in and try to shake out these massive longs that were piling in, which is something I spoke to you guys about before. So that's that. And as far as dominance is concerned, we know that the dominance has been falling out over the past, you know, few days, but you're seeing the dominance picking up a little bit as well. So, you know, this is also one of the reasons that, you know, you want to be taking a look at the altcoin market going down right now in the immediate short term. But I think, you know, the next few months coming ahead are going to be generally more bullish than bearish, in my personal opinion, because, of course, at the end of the day, we're in a bull market, a lot of bullish stuff happening for crypto as um, you know in general but let's take a look at what's happening with Pepe so of course we're gonna start off with a daily time frame so you know the daily time frame gives us a better understanding as to what is happening you know when you zoom out take a look at the bigger picture and at this point I'm sure everyone kind of understand that you know Pepe has been just absolutely killing it uh, over the past I would say uh, seven to eight months just look at it here guys just at the beginning, you know, forget about the past seven, eight months. Just at the beginning of the year, you were seeing Pepe sitting at this 1454 zone and there were five zeros in front of the price. And of course, this was below that major key resistance. Obviously, we spoke about this before. If you were accumulating Pepe below this support line and you actually held Pepe, guess what? You have made about a, look at this. Can you make this up? You have 10 x 10x in one um, I'm sorry in a few months so February March April May so about in three and a half months Pepe has 10x and it's sitting at six billion dollar market cap and um, we still have about seven to eight months left for this bull market so imagine uh, you know what other potential we have right now for Pepe and the way it's holding right now you know of course you were to switch to the hourly time frame to take a better look at Pepe holding beautifully you know we did see that breakout once again towards a new all-time high and you are seeing this higher high higher low pattern playing out and this is mega bullish clear upwards trend higher high higher low pepe wants to rip towards 10 billion dollar market cap and that's what it's speaking to me you know it's pretty much sitting at six billion dollars right now and like i've said now everyone understands how big of a deal it really could be if pepe crosses that 10 billion dollar mark uh, and of course you know as i've said to you guys several times we have not seen any meme coin get to that level as of now we haven't pretty much since the last bull market um so could we see a uh, flipping happening the shiba inu actually uh you know getting taken over by another coin i think that is going to be a possibility and i've said that pretty much from early on nothing against shiba inu community of course uh but i think there is a strong possibility that we do see this cycle something that takes over uh you know shiba inu spot and i think right now in the lead without a doubt it's pet pay but do let me know down below what you guys think so far so good um do let me know in the comments as i've said and subscribe if you have not already done so love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out